Hello, my name is Brian Burkhart, and I believe that California has the best paddling in the world. In order to prove this point, I made a video called Paddle California. It contains over an hour of whitewater kayaking, sea kayaking, whitewater kayaking in the sea, and some kayak polo. The following trailer gives you a taste of all that it has to offer, and if you're interested in more, you can find it at Paddle California dot blogspot dot com the, the Mendocino area to me is one of the most beautiful places because of the rock gardens the tunnels the caves and, and the dynamic water that you get there it's uh, you get a huge variety in a short six to ten mile path. There, there's some neat little caves there that uh, you, you go through. You go through a tunnel, and all of a sudden it opens up, and you've got three caves in front of you. Sea kayaks are a great way to explore the ocean, but whitewater kayaks can be a lot of fun playing in the rock gardens. They give you more maneuverability, more control, allow you to really play the waves and the ocean features as if they are river features. Is, is the untapped jewel of Southern California. It's just got so much going for it. It's got really easy shuttles, a, a huge array of white water. I also like the movement in the water and that feeling of executing uh, like skiing down the, the river, so to speak, in your boat is, a, is an exhilarating feeling that really can't be matched in many ways. And just the, the scenery of Dry Meadow, the teacups cut into that granite hillside, it's, it's an exceptional run that's really noteworthy in California. The biggest drop, which I think is an 18-footer, uh, really comes at you blind. You go around a corner and suddenly you're, you can see people smiling up at you from the pool below this 18-foot waterfall. And just to see the, the facial expressions of these people on their first run down is, is really priceless as they get to enjoy this unbelievably clean, smooth 18-foot drop. Uh, Lake Tahoe in the wintertime, uh, that's, that's a really unique paddling experience. Uh, being surrounded by snow and in some cases ice, I mean, I've actually been in Emerald Bay when it's been covered with ice and seen fellow paddlers uh, bust up the ice ahead of me as we try to forge our way to defend that island. It's also very quiet in the wintertime, there's no boats there, there's no noise, there's no distractions. It's uh, pretty much just kayakers and uh, if you look real carefully you can see some skiers coming down the slopes out in the distance. water is so crystal clear that you can actually see to the bottom in most places and you can get a, a very unique sensation of actually paddling uphill and paddling downhill. 
it's a, it's always unique and it's always a different experience paddling Lake Tahoe, and I think that's probably what I like most about it. The 2009 U.S. National Championships for Kayak Polo took place in Hanson Dam, just outside of Los Angeles, California. The game begins with a sprint, one person from each team going for the ball in the middle. The first person to get to the ball gets the possession. Of course, if you happen to run over your opponent, that's a foul, and thus it's that team's ball. My favorite aspect of kayak polo is that it's a very team-oriented sport. Unlike, say, basketball or even football, baseball, uh, kayak polo really requires several players to make anything happen. You're not allowed to paddle with the ball on your deck, so you need to pass the ball to a teammate and then move to get into position. favorite place around this area, around the uh, around the Southern California, it has to be the, the Channel Islands. There's islands that that uh, are easy enough to get to in a, in a day paddle, and then there's some that are challenging enough that takes that it takes uh, several weeks of planning to uh, make the crossing over. Uh, kayaking over, I've seen whales uh, very close by. All sorts of love of marine life, but What I like about uh, sea kayaking is just the uh, freedom to go far, like uh, mountaineering or hiking, where you just, I can load up my boat, <coughs> I can go, uh, I can go miles, go uh, 20, 30 miles. The Middle Fork of the Feather River is world renowned as one of the most beautiful multi-day kayak runs you'll find anywhere. Uh, 30 miles of wilderness setting, consistent class four or five white water the whole way uh, makes for an incredible three-day trip. So you get six feet of snow in the Sierras, maybe that's 20 inches of water or something like that, and, and you're pretty much set for the summer. And you'll get to start boating if you're motivated in the winter rains, and then the spring melt down low in the lower elevations, and then that the melt just sweeps on upward through the elevation ranges until until you've had enough, until you hope that uh, hope it runs out so that you can put your life back together. <laughs>